The greatest ideas have come from sitting on the toilet. Every day, some company, individual or group, is known for giving the public a load of bullshit. Come here to get your daily dose of shit by Alan Cousin. It's time you hear the shit everyone wants to know. Hello, everybody, and welcome to your Daily Dose of Shit with your host, of course, Alan Cousin. Today is Tuesday, March 7th, 2023. You do realize that eight days from today will be the Ides of March. I'm not sure if you realize how important that is in history. The Ides of March, the day that Rome fell, and the day that basically it appeared that uh, demise came to the Roman country line. Now, of course, I'm bringing this up because I feel, based on my algorithms and studies, that March 15th may yet again be a historical date that will bring forth March 18th, a catastrophic crash of the stock market, S&P 500. Now, I could be wrong, of course, because I am not exactly one that is a mathematician, but based on the current events, insights, and algorithms, I believe, without a doubt, that we may have a crash very shortly. Uh, Now, of course, speaking of such, as you know today, Jerome Powell of the Federal Reserve was actually in a Senate hearing today and yesterday, and of course, not being surprised, Mr. Powell stated that due to the soft economy, we will have to most likely raise interest rates again. Really? I mean, should I be surprised? Should I go, oh my God, what? I kind of expected it. I hope you kind of expected it. I would think that we all kind of expected it because you're not really realizing that currently, even though money is being spent in the economy, keyword, being spent in the economy, it is being spent by credit cards. Meaning that these individuals are spending the money, but then when it comes back to the point of paying off the bills, that is a different matter. Do you know that right now, college students are going into debt by the millions? And there are also families, of course, who are because of the whole COVID, I couldn't go anywhere for two years situation. Now that they're free to roam the world, have gotten a little crazy as well. So people are spending money like crazy, literally. And yet, here's the problem. They're spending the money, but they're not paying the bills when the bill comes back to say, hey, you charge me, now pay me off. Now they're paying, but they're paying minimum payments. And that, my friend, is not going to help the economy because the minimum payment only goes towards the interest, meaning that the business is then losing money Fundamentally, because they're not receiving the money that they allowed back out. Granted, banks love this because, of course, they want to keep you in debt because the longer you're in debt, the better it is for them to collect interest off you. But what if you stop paying the bill all entirely? Then we have a problem, ladies and gentlemen. And that is where I feel we will start to see problems because people will start to run out of money to pay their bills. And, of course, they will pull money from the stock, 401k, mutual funds, and so forth to help pay these bills, which then will cause the stock market to fluctuate, meaning that you won't have as much money pumping in, but you'll have much more money pumping out. And if you don't have anything backing it up, then guess what? You're going to see a possible slope, which will end up in a bubble bursting, which will end up in a stock market crash. Now, not sure if any of you knew this, because some people didn't, of course. During the time of 2020 to 2021, almost into 2022, the Federal Reserve, in order to help the market, because of so many people not being able to go to work, 
not being able to find jobs or just spend money entirely because of COVID bought the stock market, meaning they invested their own money into the stock market and was controlling the stock market for about one to two years. Many people may not know this, of course, but now I feel the need to let you know that that's why the stock market was doing entirely so well during those two years because the stock market was not being controlled by individuals and businesses. The stock market was being controlled by the Federal Reserve itself. Hmm. Interesting indeed, don't you think? Yeah, I do. So, maybe that might give you a heads up as to why the market has now suddenly flushed its way down into red because the Federal Reserve sold it all back, parts by part, piece by piece, into the market for companies to then control again and also for people and hedge funds to buy. And as you can tell, these naked shorts are having a fun-filled day with naked short wars because in all honesty, they're betting against the market to make money but don't realize as they bet into the market they could possibly lose money themselves when the market crashes so everybody loses unfortunately to a point I mean of course not everybody because of course if you bet on the market and it goes down and of course you are betting on it to go down you will make money so let me reiterate that no not everybody loses but majority loses because majority always looks for the hope of it rising and minority looks for the hope of falling main thing is this the federal reserve i i understand you have this itch i call it or this grand scheme of things that you believe that you can possibly fix the market with the inflation crisis and the market crisis and economic crisis and with the people spending but not making enough to cover with their spending prices and i don't think you realize you can't it's going to fall no matter what we do it's going to fall no matter how hard we try it's going to fall it's just whether it falls today tomorrow next week next month but sooner or later it's going to fall and then we have to worry about the crisis of the debt ceiling which of course has still not had been rectified so of course that means if it hasn't been rectified and congress hasn't been informed by treasury yellen that they have until june to fix this or then we will be in what they call a pile of crap o m g w t f what are we going to do situation but i don't see it being fixed in june I mean, hey, if it doesn't crash this month, I'm not going to get upset. If it doesn't crash in April or May, I'm not going to get upset. But I feel that if we don't fix the debt ceiling, it doesn't matter what I say. It's going down, and it's going down fast. So all I got to say is watch your money, save your money, pay your bills on time, and try your best to be lucrative and lucid with your money so that you have some just in case if you need it. Because trust me, what you see is just an illusion. And what you get is totally different. And trust me, I thought about it myself. I mean, yes, am I still playing the market? Of course I am. Am I still trying to make some money? Of course I am. Am I still taking chances? Of course I am. I'm a Sagittarius. When does Sagittarius not take chances? But I do have money on the side as protection in case something goes wrong. So I still will be okay. See, that's the key. You still have to make sure to be okay. You know, have some money and play with, but make sure you have some money on the side you don't touch. Because trust me, in the long run, you're going to need that rainy fun. Because it's going to rain. Oh, hell, it's going to storm. And when it storms, you're going to be like, what the hell is this? Where did it come from? And how long is it going to last? And unfortunately, this is not going to be a quickie. It's going to be several years before we feel any type of pressure being taken off our financial backs when it happens. Which is probably most likely why they're trying to prevent it as long as they can. Because they utmost know that when this bubble 
S&P bubble, by the way, S&P 500 bubble to be exact, burst. It's going to affect all sectors, health, military, tech, especially tech, cars, and automotive, as well as other sectors involved in the S&P. And also, it's going to affect people. People that were not smart enough to have money on the side. People that were not smart enough to have their credit cards paid off. People that were not smart enough to make sure they have available funds when something goes wrong. And the rain comes pouring down, down, down. But hey, can't expect that without being human, right? Human to human is to air. To air is to human. Basically, it just means that we always make mistakes. We never learn from them, by the way. No matter what we say, we always make the same mistakes and we never learn. Don't know why, because I mean, you would think so. We have a brain. We have the ability of seeing mistakes, learning from them. But there's this thing called pride. It tends to block our perception of fixing ourselves and improving ourselves because it tells us, Oh, it wasn't my fault. It was someone else's fault. So therefore, what I did was wrong. No, it was actually okay. Somebody else did something wrong. It just happens that it affected me, but it wasn't me that did it. And in the long run, we find out, yes, it was you. And guess what? You did it again. So, and you're not Britney Spears, so you shouldn't be doing anything again. You know what I'm saying? So, main thing is this. Be careful with your money right now. Be safe. With your money right now pay your bills on time and watch your stocks watch your mutual funds definitely watch your 401ks especially if you're looking to retire and realize something's a brewing pay attention and stop charging 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 away on things you probably don't need things you just want and things that honestly cost way too much money at the time that you're buying it but that's just me saying to you because like I said I was sitting on the toilet today and all I thought about was my money how much money I have in a bank how much money I have in stock how much money I have in savings how much money I have in checking how much money I have on credit card debt and how much money I need to make everything okay and that's all I thought about the whole day while I was sitting there on my porcelain throne because guess what that's all I need to worry about right now taking care of me and my girls Making sure we have the financial stability to be okay. So, I'm not going to hold you because guess what? It's Tuesday and I got things to do anyway. So, enjoy the day. Hope you learned something from this quickie. And don't trust the Federal Reserve. Definitely don't trust Jerome Powell. And beware of what's to come. Because trust me, something's a brewing. And it's going to be huge. And the only thing I have to say is when it all falls down, you're going to remember this little voice. Let's put a smile on that face. (laughs) And that's not going to be very nice for you. Not nice for any of us. So, nice talking to you. Until then, just remember, there's idiots everywhere. (laughs) Ignore them and laugh. I know I do. Thanks for listening to your daily dose of shit talk show. If you have some insights, questions, or information of bullshit to pass on, please email us at momentousevents at AOL.com. Make sure to come back daily to hear some new shit about money, business, life, and who knows what else as I take a dump on the toilet.